I'm Tim, welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Cartier Roadster 18 karat yellow gold, 37 millimeters wide, 43.5 millimeters lug to lug. This Cartier Roadster is, like all the watches featured on our YouTube channel, actual inventory in stock and available for immediate purchase and delivery on our retail website, watchyouwant.com. And if you like getting the latest news, views, and reviews of luxury watches in daily video form, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now the Cartier Roadster goes from zero to sweet in about three seconds. On my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. You can see the fit is excellent. Now this is the size large Roadster, so it's got more presence than the basic models. A little bit more shoulder, a little bit more stance. What it does is it starts curving around your wrist. So even though it's a fairly large watch and my wrist is fairly small, if you've got a typical wrist shape that is more oval than round, flattish across the top, the curvature of the case, which is cambered, gets a head start arcing over the top of your wrist, and it's aided by a beautifully formed sort of pre-curved bracelet. You can see it has almost an anatomic shape to the links, all of which are individually sizable for more precise fit. And underneath, you can see the extent of the relief channels, both within the links themselves and between the links, so it's not going to pull hair or pinch skin, but more than that, because the Roadster is designed with intent as a sports watch, it'll relieve sweat, moisture, and heat on a hot day. And if you don't believe that this watch is a sports watch, consider this. With a screw-down crown and 100-meter, 300 330-foot water resistance, the Roadster could be your only watch. Now granted, it's a bit of a sports car, but every good sports car, and enthusiasts know this, really should be a convertible. Rest assured, the Roadster, which goes well with a business suit or a bathing suit, definitely is a convertible. Now, granted, you'd have to style a bit to wear a full gold watch in a bathing suit, but with the mechanical integrity and a watertight case to hold up, this is an excellent candidate. Moreover, I mentioned that every great sports car should be a convertible, and the Roadster certainly is. If you want to put this on a rubber strap, and Cartier does make rubber accessory straps for it, you can easily do it with this ingenious spring-loaded pull tab quick change lug system. Now this is characteristic of the Roadster model and exclusive to it and it really makes a difference in the ownership because if you don't want to risk this beautifully finished solid gold bracelet you can easily swap it onto a rubber, go in the pool, take it in the ocean. Granted, you're a baller if you do, but the Roadster's up to it. Now every element of this bracelet is finished the standard you would expect of a legendary jeweler and watchmaker like Cartier. Even the interior fittings of the double deployant clasp are beautifully polished. There isn't a single machined or unfinished surface in here and you can see much like the Rolex crown clasp on the President bracelet known for its low profile, this is a seamless clasp. So when closed it essentially doesn't show. The parting point is barely discernible and from an arm's length completely invisible. Everything about this watch is geared towards elegance and Cartier achieves that in unconventional fashion. Normally all gold, like full gold case, bracelet, clasp might be a bit overpowering but what Cartier does with the Roadster from an aesthetic standpoint is it breaks up the mass with character lines like the stepped bezel, details like these recessed screws, they almost have the look of French tail lights on an early 50s hot rod. A clever stylistic angle in a watch named the Roadster with a dial that reads very much like the tachometer of a mid 1950s sports car, especially those in European sports cars. Porsche comes to mind. You can see other elements of the watch feature high contrast, feature character lines to break up the gold. Cartier wields gold with a deft eye for design and the center brushed channel down the center of the bracelet really catches the eye, really impresses in contrast to the polish of the shoulder portions of the bracelet. There is not an ill-considered square millimeter on this watch. That's the eye for design that's made Cartier a legend and it continues inboard on the dial. Now I mentioned that it has a bit of the layout of a mid-1950s sports car tachometer or speedometer very much so, but it does incorporate traditional Cartier stylistic elements. Now you can see the stylized Roman numerals all the way around at the stations of the hour. You can see a sort of modified train track minute scale on the sunken and guilloche cut inner dial. Beautifully formed 
everything from those elements to the little stylized and hidden Louis Cartier signature in the V of the Roman numeral 7 are true to form for the company, and likewise, the beautiful cobalt blue hands at center. But because this is a watch with sporting pretensions, it is fully loomed. At each index, there is a loomed plot that allows this watch to be viewed in the dark, a distinct break with the traditions of a conventional dress watch. Now, other elements, beautifully integrated again in an almost automotive fixture style, are this gorgeous Cabocon style but solid gold crown that flows seamlessly into the crystal, the Cyclops magnifier, not placed haphazardly Rolex tool watch style, but tapered and integrated in the style of a great design house. That's Cartier's signature. Now this watch is beautiful from any angle, but it's these small detail touches that make the Cartier difference that really set this house apart as a historic, present, and likely future leader in the design and luxury watch aesthetics field. Now, the Cartier Cabocon crown is a signature of the brand, but again, because this is a sports watch designed to be worn full-time, casually, the Cabocon, which can be vulnerable to damage if worn casual, is actually replaced by a solid gold element of the crown. So, that's just more gold, and gold is not a bad thing. Now, the watch is powered by a solid automatic winding ETA 2892 thin and fine caliber, an excellent pair for a watch of this nature. It's powered everything from Ulysse Norden complications to Omega Bond Seamasters. And it's ideal in this application because it's set it and forget it tough, bi-directional winding, thin and fine, only 3.6 millimeters thick. It allows Cartier to make this thin cambered case an ergonomic dream when on the wrist. Very reliable. It basically means that if you wear this watch daily, you're only going to have to think about your movement the five times a year you need to reset the calendar. It's an excellent match for an upscale sports watch. Everything about this watch is centered on the idea of a luxury watch with design as its hallmark and clever integration of useful features like the quick change bracelet and strap, like the screw down crown and 100 meter water resistance, like the loomed, highly stylized Cartier dial. This is a watch that forces you to make no concessions to style in order to style. That's the best way to look at the Roadster. It's a sort of modern rendition of Cartier's dress watch tradition in a bit of a contemporary sports watch paradigm. So check out this Cartier Roadster, large, 37 millimeters wide by approximately 12 and a half millimeters thick and 43.5 millimeters lug-to-lug in high-resolution images on our website, watchyouwant.com.